Hello student, welcome back to this channel and today we are going to learn about form 5 science chapter 4 rate of reaction so previous video we already learned about Haber process okay so we need to know that Haber process is a process uh, of making ammonia okay a process of making this ammonia by using nitrogen and hydrogen so um, we are not going to learn or we are not we are not, we are not going to talk much about this because uh, we already covered this topic in the last video so um, in this video we are going to learn about contact process so we did learn um, have a process to make ammonia um, why we want to make ammonia it's a very big factory that is making ammonia why for one obvious reason is to get money correct or not can you imagine like making the using the air to make money and of course this one is usually used in um, I would say in um, fertilizer, um, large quantity of fertilizer that can be made instead of using animal organic bats dung or cow dung, you can put it on banana. Maybe for medicine purpose, I don't know like all this chemistry industry stuff is a very huge industry. And again, for contact process, they want to make make sulfuric acid okay to make sulfuric acid so what are the purpose of sulfuric acid so again the main purpose of making sulfuric acid is to get more money correct or not it's again a very huge factory you can go get so it's a very huge factory and uh, basically is to make um, it can be anything fertilizer to make uh, medicine, to make bone, to make drugs. It can be anything, but for one main reason is to get more money. So, yeah, we know it's to get money. So, we want to learn um, the process, how this process occur. So, in contact process, sulfur is burned in excess air to produce sulfur dioxide. So, you, what we just need to do is use sulfur and oxygen burn it and we get sulfur dioxide of course sulfur dioxide is usually we know that sulfur is poisonous sulfur is the gas that um make acid rain but before we want to release to the air we want to we want to um, process it to make something else so sulfur dioxide again it mixed with the temperature of the air of 450 degree it passes through vanadium 5 oxide we function as catalyst to produce SO3 so from SO2 we want to make it to become SO3 by burning again in sulfur trioxide and let me type this and the catalyst is let me see the catalyst is vanadium 5 oxide so I think I want to put here I think it's easier if we put here to remember vanadium V oxide so this is the catalyst and the temperature also you need to remember which is 450 degree celsius uh, I think better way to understand this is you don't need to write all this word just remember this formula okay SO2 plus O2 by through 450 degree and vanadium 5 oxide you will get sulfur trioxide SO3 okay and uh, continue on rather than eating uh, eating bula reading this I think we should have just remember this formula okay SO3 plus sulfuric acid you get oleum H2S2O7 sulfur trioxide dissolve into sulfuric acid you get oleum oleum then you add with water you get sulfuric acid so it's a very long process break into four process okay sulfur plus oxygen get sulfur dioxide sulfur dioxide plus oxygen you get sulfur dioxide trioxide sulfur trioxide plus sulfuric acid you get oleum oleum plus water you get sulfuric acid so what exam will come out um i don't think the question will usually ask these four process in in essay question but i think they will ask many in objective fill in the blank 
or maybe the first category, what is the second category? Um, yeah, they will ask this, what is the catalyst, what is the temperature? So you need to memorize. Hmm. Then I'm thinking of whether I want to ask you guys to memorize the uh, the formula or the words equation. Mm, let me think. But basically, I think the easiest way I think to remember sign is to remember the the formula. I think remember the formula again because S is sulfur, uh, O two is oxygen, S O two is sulfur dioxide. So S O two plus O two, you get S O three, vanadium oxide. I think we remember the formula is easier. And from the one formula, you need to think if S O three is sulfur dioxide because it's really three, ma. Try, try, triple, try, you didn't know. So you remember the formula H2SO4, you already know it's a sulfuric acid. And H2S2O7 is something new, it's oleum. And H2O, you guys know already, H2O is water, H2SO4 is the sulfuric acid. Okay, so basically, what this is the again the picture that I might show you this picture in objective or subjective depending on the question. So let's say they just draw to you, give some empty spaces, ask you to fill in the blank, or ask you to um, ask you to write out the word equation, or ask you about what is the catalyst, and what is the temperature, and what is the pressure. But the, oh yeah, here's the pressure. So, for Haber process, again, Haber process is the pros process to the main objective is both this process to get more money, you know. But Haber process to get ammonium and contact process is to get uh sulfuric acid. Okay, so basically what's the difference? Temperature is around the same, 450 degree, 450 degree. Pressure is different, 280 m and this pressure is 1 atmosphere. 180 m. So basically, one atm is the um, standard tem atmosphere pressure when you are at near the sea, lah. Okay, and at the sea there. So obviously now, lah, in this room, your room, if you don't live up the mountain, your probably your atmosphere will be one atm, uh, one atmosphere pressure. Catalyst is iron filling. Catalyst is vanadium five oxide. So this one you need to remember. Let's look at the question. 1A. Name one life process in the human body which involves the concept of rate of reaction. So, hmm, is it in the textbook? I don't think the answer is in the textbook. Name one life process reaction in the body that involves the concept of rate of reaction. So, why is the process? So, uh, this is my answer. I would say that the function of enzyme in the human body where the enzyme will speed up the rate of reaction, correct or not? If you don't have enzyme, you don't have a saliva, the, the reaction will be slower, digestion will be slower. We have the enzyme as a biological catalyst. Therefore, the rate of reaction is faster. How does the application of rate of reaction influence the life process in question 1A? So, how does this application of rate of reaction influence the life of process? Actually, Actually, I'm also confused with this question. I think I will put this answer for question 2. So, this one I put in question 2. Um, name one life process. I think um, food digestion. No, no, food digestion. I cannot find the answer honestly, but I think this is the as close as I can get the answer. Can name one life process? I would say food digestion process. How does this application how does this apply? How does the application of that reaction influence the life process in question 1A? Okay, so I would say the food, the function of enzyme in the human body where it can speed up the rate of reaction. State the factor will influence the rate of reaction following the process. So what is the factor for Haber process that influence the rate of reaction? So I would say for Haber process is the temperature, pressure and catalyst for contact process the factor that influence is also the same temperature pressure and catalyst correct now if i make the temperature lower the reaction will be lower or if i make it too high the reaction might be even lower 
and uh, the pressure they already do all this experiment whether to use one atmosphere two atmosphere three two hundred three hundred four hundred they already do all this experiment they just want to find the best way to earn money is by following these 200 atmosphere and one atmosphere and the catalyst they already find out how to get more money is using the IF filling and catalyst for the contact process is magnesium 5 oxide again i want to ask you to remember this i think usually exam will come out it is quite important usually the exam will come out this thing okay okay so that's it are we done in this one okay so we are done with this um of course we have some exercise summative practice for but and but i'm not going to discuss the answer at here because the the answer is ready at in your textbook so i wish to do some video unless you want video about this exercise explanation that i will do this one but i will faster finish the whole textbook so that the next video i can make more on um, I just finish the whole textbook first, then I only make video about exercise book, maybe one, two, three exercise book and as much as possible. So that's it. I think I will stop you here because we are going to the next chapter. See you in the next chapter. Bye-bye.